So what is wire mesh stamping and how can it benefit your process? I'll explain everything, so stick around. Hey there, what's up? My name is Andrew Kotlar, and sometimes you must manipulate wire mesh to properly implement wire mesh. Processes like wire mesh stamping must be applied to ensure your mesh can fit into your equipment. So what exactly do we mean when we say wire mesh stamping? WS Tyler has been in the woven wire mesh business for over 150 years and has developed a series of in-house post weaving services to ensure your customers are confident in their woven wire mesh investment. So in this video, we'll go over the definition of wire mesh stamping, when customers can have their wire mesh stamped, what the wire mesh stamping process consists of, and what you need to do to get custom stamped wire mesh solutions. Wire mesh stamping is the process of punching a custom shape out of a piece or roll of mesh. You place a specific mesh specification into a special pressing machine, and a custom die is pressed through the mesh, leaving you with a mesh piece with the desired shape. Wire mesh can be properly stamped when the parameters and the specifications of the mesh are conducive to the stamping process. So you can theoretically have a wire diameter that is too thin to be properly stamped since it would essentially wrap around the die and fray on the edges of the part. Customers usually have components stamped when the desired shape is simple enough to be formed into a die and implemented into the press machinery. These can be components like wire mesh discs or wire mesh extruder screen packs. So as your shape or design becomes more complex, the chances that your mesh will need to be laser cut rather than stamped increases. Wire mesh stamping can be carried out using two types of tooling, a clicker die or a high volume press. Both methods follow the same concept where the wire mesh is fed through a conveyor-like system until it reaches the die station. Once the mesh is properly positioned underneath the die, pressure forces the die through the mesh, forming the desired shape with a clean cut. The difference between using a clicker die or a high volume press is that a clicker die requires manual force to punch the die through the mesh. Since a person has to punch out each component, lead times and part costs are greater. A high pressure press utilizes hydraulic systems to stamp, resulting in more uniform and consistent cuts. This brings us to the fact that with a clicker die, you can produce one part a minute. However, with a high volume press, you can produce 20 parts a minute. The first question you should be asking your wire mesh supplier is whether or not they have the capacity to stamp the shape you need correctly. If the required tooling is in-house and the material is available, the wire mesh supplier should be able to fabricate the component with minimal lead times and at a more budget-friendly price point. But if the mesh supplier has to design and create a new die, you want to provide the mesh supplier with drawings that best illustrate the shape, dimensions, and specifications of the component. Naturally, this increases both the lead times and costs associated with the component. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click that link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click that second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name's Andrew Kotlar and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.